Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain principle of generation of three phase supply and its waveform. So, in my previous video, I had explained generation of single phase supply by elementary generator. So, elementary generator is a device which is having single turn of rectangular coil and it generates the single phase supply. The coil is rotated in magnetic field just like this. In this case, this is north pole and this one is south pole and the magnetic lines of forces are indicated here with the blue color. And you can see here that this coil is rotated here and therefore it will generate an EMF. So this diagram can also be redrawn just like this and in this case you can see the terminal A and D here along with these slip rings and brushes B1 and B2 are used to provide the power supply to the load register as shown in the figure. Now as you can see here that this is terminal A and this is terminal B and this is the conductor when we consider the perpendicular direction of it and if it is moving if it is in the rest position just like this we can say that here the lines of forces and the conductors are parallel to each other and therefore the angle between them is zero and therefore at position number one the emf generated is zero now if this coil is rotated in anti-clockwise direction then uh, and if it is moving from position number one to position number two that is from zero degree to 90 degree then in this case it will cut some magnetic lines of forces and therefore some emf is generated and in this case we can say that it is maximum emf generated because sine 90 is equal to 1 and therefore maximum emf generated from position 0 to position 1 just like this and position 1 to position 2 just like this now if this coil is again moved in anti clockwise direction by 90 degree that is its position from position number 2 to position number 3 that is from 90 degree to 180 degree in this case the emf will be dropped just like this again here the two conductors are parallel and therefore the emf at this point is zero but it is it is reducing here from this peak and therefore we will get waveform just like as indicated here now if the coil is again rotated from position number 3 to position number 4 that is from 180 degree to 270 degree and in this case we will get waveform just like this and if the coil is again moved from position number 4 to position number 1 that is from 270 degree to 360 degree or we can say that 0 degree in this case the complete completion of cycle will be there and we can say that for one, one complete rotation, it is creating one complete cycle, which is having positive as well as negative angle. Also note the angles indicated in this waveform. So this is the generation of single phase supply because in this case, a single coil is rotated in magnetic field. Now what will happen if we move three different coils in the magnetic field? Definitely it will generate three phase supply and therefore generation of three phase supply can be possible if a, uh, if the three conductors as you can see here that it is a1 b1 and c1 these coils are 120 degree apart from each other and if they are rotated in magnetic field a three phase supply can be generated another way to generate the three phase supply is by rotating magnet in three different coil itself now we know that here you can see that a b and c are three different coils and here the magnet is magnet is rotated in this uh, coil and again a three phase emf can be generated for simplification and for the working of three generation of three phase supply we will consider this diagram where three different conductors are rotated now in this case again this is a red conductor r1 r2 now from this conductor at 120 degree second conductor is uh, placed there it is y1 y2 which is indicated by yellow color here and the third one is blue wire you can see here that again it is 120 degree apart from y or we can say that it is 240 degree away from the red 
conductor or red coil so uh, we can say here these three coils are 120 degree apart from each other and if they are rotated in anti clockwise direction then by faraday's law of electromagnetic induction emf will be generated here and this emf generation will be alternating in nature now again consider that we are rotating this coil so here this r1 is rotated from this position and it will complete its cycle here we are considering red as a reference and if it is completing its cycle first definitely we can have waveform just like this now blue was uh, the next color was yellow and it was uh, 120 degree away from the red or we can say that it was uh, complete it will complete its cycle after red and it is separated by 120 degree so in this case this is 90 degree angle and this is 180 degree angle so 120 degree will be somewhat here and therefore the wave form can be drawn just like this this is the yellow color indicating the second uh, conductor or we can say that second phase the third is again 120 degree away from yellow or we can say that 240 degree away from the red so this is 270 degree indicating here and uh, this is 180 degree so by default 20 uh, 240 degree can be seen here and therefore blue wire will generate an emf just like this here we can uh, denote this red as e r that is emf generated by red coil e y is emf generated by yellow and this is emf generated by blue now if we complete this cycle then we will get waveform like this here dotted line will indicate the emf induced in previous cycle so overall that is what we get after the completion of completion of cycle for each coil now let us consider the mathematical expression for this now in this case here we are considering this as a reference and for the sine wave it it is er that is emf generated by red coil and it is er equal to em sin omega t now we know that this is 120 degree apart from this and therefore we will get ey is equals to em sin omega t minus 120 degree because it will complete its waveform after red wire and it is separated by 120 degree therefore minus sign that is indicating lag here of 120 degree definitely third wire eb is again 120 degree away from this yellow or we can say that it is 2d 40 degree lagging as we are considering this as a reference we can write here em sin omega t minus 240 degree so this is the uh, mathematical expression for these three different wave now we know that we are rotating a set of these three coils that is red yellow and blue therefore a single wave will be generated here and therefore here if we plot the red wire uh, red red wave it will look like this blue can be seen here and it is away from the red by 120 degree and again this blue third yellow uh, th third one is blue which is 240 degree away and the waveform will just like uh, look like this this is the emf waveform for the three phase where this one is indicating e y e r sorry it is e r that is emf by red coil this is e y and this one is e b so in this way we can draw the generation for gen waveform for the three phase supply now let us complete one more more uh, important concept that is a phase diagram for this supply we can draw it with the help of this emf equation now this mathematical expression is considering red as a reference and therefore it is kept here on the x axis it is indicating e r again now one uh, e y is 120 degree away and it is lagging the lag in phasor diagram is indicated in clockwise direction so from this point it is 120 degree away and e y is here and the last one is again 120 degree away from this yellow so it is e b 
Now let's finish this topic with one more important concept that is phase sequence. Phase sequence is generally the sequence or order in which the voltages in three phase reach their maximum positive value first. Okay, it is called as phase sequence of three phase voltage. Now in this case or in normal scenario we consider R, Y, B that is red, yellow and blue as a phase sequence and it has importance in the rotation of machine. The direction of rotation of three phase machine depends on the sequ phase sequence and in this case if it is R, Y, B we can interchange any two phases that is Y and B is interchanged here we will get R, B, Y. If previously the motor was rotating in clockwise direction if R, Y, B sequence is connected then for the three phase motor which uh, if we connect R, B, Y as a sequence that if we, are, we change any two it means that we can change R, Y also interchange R, Y also or we can interchange B, Y also if we interchange any two connection the rotation will be reversed that is previously if it was rotating in anti clockwise uh, in clockwise direction then further it will move in anti clockwise direction that is its rotation will be reversed that is the importance of phase sequence that's all for the day friends if you like this video and if you haven't subscribe subscribe our channel please subscribe it and share it with your friends. Thank you.